Thousands lie in the street in Poland, calling on U.S. to close Ukrainian sky. Here's a summary of the article. Thousands of people in Poland protested for the U.S. to close the Ukrainian sky by lying on the streets Friday. More than 4,000 people protested in Warsaw, which has seen the most Ukrainian refugees since the war began, according to the Ukrainian Volunteer Journalists Initiative. Advertisement. The protest came as and other top U.S. officials met with Ukrainian officials in Poland on Saturday. Biden on Saturday will give a speech in Poland, with the White House calling it a major address. The request of the Polish protesters is similar to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky who asked the U.S. for a no-fly zone when speaking to Congress. The U.S. has provided billions of dollars in military and humanitarian aid to Ukraine to fight Russia but has denied requests for a no-fly zone and a transfer of fighter jets. Poland has taken in more than half of the more than 3.5 million Ukrainians who have fled Ukraine during the war. This post received a score of 33,000, with an upvote ratio of 80%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. That would involve shooting down Russian planes. I don't think those people understand the gravity of that action. It goes beyond that even. If NATO planes are engaged by Russian air defense while enforcing a no-fly zone, doctrine necessitates the elimination of all anti-air capabilities within range that could threaten NATO aircraft. In other words, a no-fly zone would also mean strikes on Russian territory. Thank you. It's written in for them. This is automatic WW3 the minute we declare and enforce. Yes. The sheer size of the group calling for this baffles me. Even in the Cold War a direct conflict between two nuclear powers was never even considered as an option. A threat sure, but nobody in their right mind even considered starting it. Greater than the sheer size of the group calling for this baffles me. We are at a point in history where there is a dwindling number people left who remember what the world was like before the threat of nuclear weapons emerged. Few who were alive at the time that Hiroshima and Nagasaki were instantly incinerated. For many, I am guessing it's easy to take safety for granted in a world bristling with nuclear missiles aimed in all directions since they just consider them to be some threat from the history books that never came to fruition. Hasn't come to fruition. Yet. Not to mention, many, modern nuclear weapons are an insane amount more powerful than Fat Man and Little Boy. They were what? 30 kilotons? Russia has demonstrated the ability to drop a 50 megaton H-bomb. Let. S not forget the wonderful range of effect the fallout has. There. S a nuke plotter on the web you can use to calculate it the range deadly fallout has from a nuke based on the yield and let. S just say the average nuke creates an uninhabitable hell zone the size of Italy with even modest winds. Thousands call for WW3. How do so many people still not understand how this works? I am willing to bet they re still unaware of what a no fly zone actually is. It s like Michael Scott declaring bankruptcy. I declare no fly z o o o o o o n e. Why is it completely up to America? This is what I don t understand either. They should be calling on Germany, France, and the UK. Europe needs to take the lead here. We cannot be leading this, and countries can make their own decisions outside of NATO. They re pleading to NATO from what I can tell, but the Hill reports it as asking the US? Yeah, looks like it. US media seems to conflate the US and NATO. Media all seems to want a world war but not sign up to fight in it, and also not understand the nukes will reach their studios. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.